Welcome to Chicago Independent Television, a collection of progressive video reports assembled by Chicago Indie Media's Video Collective and produced free from corporate or commercial support or influence. I'm Chris Giovannis. In this special presentation, we feature Army of None, a film by Metro Chicago activists that focuses on young people, including veterans, who challenge the military spin on issues that range from recruiting strategies to the realities of war. This is the tone of a new day. How else should I explain it? President still telling lies, making plans for complacent. Face it, he sent us off to war for no good reason. It's our constitutional right to overthrow leaders for treason. Sitting up in Washington, playing the world like a board game. My people suffer real pain. Stop playing games, revelations unfolding. I'm seeing visions of death, riding on pale horses, and I know you feel it. Something different about the world today. A world of slaves, the world of blaze. I went to high school, we sport athlete. Starting at the point where I'm like, you know, I need more money. So the whole thought of like getting like thousands and thousands upon dollars of debt, you know, after I got out of college was just kind of daunting to me. There's the army recruiter sign there, you know. For some reason, like, my mind's click, army, that's the way to go. All of a sudden he throws up the video for infantry. Bam, you know, there it is. You know, he shows all the guys. It was the coolest video they had out there, I think. You know, it was it was like when you think of army, it was that was the video. It's so like you got a bunch of guys running with their backpacks on, their machine guns, their rifles. You know, running behind tanks. You know, they're they're in helicopters and going down the ropes. But the whole thing changes though when you get out of the base training part and you go to your unit. Me personally, I went to 82nd Airborne, which is known as a very very strict. And a lot of people call it the dog and pony show. Getting used to the hell fact where they want us to press our uniforms and have, you know, crazy creases going on. I'm like, wow, this is different than what I thought it was. It's a seven to like five to six o'clock job. And many, pulling a 12 hour day was not uncommon. And sometimes we wouldn't get off to like eight o'clock. Wow. You know, I'm getting money, but this really sucks. You know, I, I could be a lot, I could be doing a lot better things with my life than sitting around waiting for someone to give us the word to get off. We will never back down, down, and we will never give in, and we will never accept anything less than complete victory. We will never back down, and we will never give in, and we will never accept anything less than complete victory. We will never back down, and we will never give in, and we will never accept anything less than complete victory. I know we've been talking about college. But to be honest, I really want to try the military. You know how I'm into planes and aviation? I've got all kinds of different jobs that I can trade for. And later, I can still go to college, but with a bunch of experience under my belt. What do you think? So, this is Trasnada, Southside, Chicago. Arr! Up the punks. <laughs> I went to Fergit High School, which is on 23rd and Christiana. Um, they had the ROTC. Um, they had recruit, recruiters go to the school. One day, they're knocking at my door, uh, an officer in full, full uniform. And he comes up to my door and asks me if I want to join the Army. 
after me. So it's, it's like they're hunting for people, you know, they're not asking you, they're, they're trying to like put you into joining the army. And, and they told you like, you know, I, I, I had a few tattoos like, well, you can do that in the army, you can do art, you can do this, you can do that. And then I'm gonna do it just for you. Know, you know. I think that right now there's a, a big, big conspiracy to get Latinos into um, go to the army. How they say in Spanish, carne de cañón. They're guinea pigs for the war. They're the infantry. They're the ones that go out there. And they're dying in all these road bombs, and they're the ones that go through all the dirty war. Like, they're dying early 20s, you know, uh, and if they don't die, they're maimed, no arms, no legs. So that's, that's pretty much what you get out of the army. Like, they don't tell you you're gonna go nuts. They don't tell you that you're gonna have nervous breakdowns, that you might come back with one leg or one arm, that your brains are gonna be splattered in the street and no one's gonna be able to recognize you. I mean, they don't tell you these things. I mean, there's so many things that all these kids should be talked about before they go to the army. It's sad to see that all these young kids are brainwashed, especially in high school, when they're still trying to figure out what they want to do with their lives. So they're not even giving them the opportunity to decide for themselves what they want to do. They're telling them, but this is what you got to do. You got to be a patriot. You got to fight for this country. Uh, and we're going to give you all these great things. Yeah, it's just fucking bullshit. You're watching Chicago Independent Television. In my country, a group of religious extremists are reshaping the government to promote their own agenda and morality. The government can keep a list of everyone I call and they do not need a judge's permission. Our citizens are seized and held in prison without being charged of a crime, without the right to a trial and without a lawyer. Why should you care about what is happening to my country? Because my country is the United States of America. Welcome back to Chicago Independent Television. We now continue with Army of None, a film featuring young Chicagoans, including veterans, who are challenging the claims of the military and its recruiters. So girls won't be referred to as bees, hoes, and tricks. 
So the most popular movies won't be porno flicks. So we'll be empowered by our mind more than what we have, and our lives will deviate from this dangerous path. We need an urban solution to stop all this confusion. Block by block, it's time for revolution. We need an urban solution to stop all this confusion. Block by block, it's time for revolution. Revolution, it feels like a revolution. See, it takes a revolution to break the chains of mass confusion caused by society's illusions of what's right and who's wrong. But Bob Marley wrote this song to keep the wicked politicians from using the system of lies and exploitation to keep the sisters from realizing their greatness to build a powerful nation. See, Gil Scott Heron told you that it won't be on TV. It won't come after these messages on TRL or BET. It won't stop while big business clocks your dollars and your time, and it won't stop the sisters that destroy their bodies and their minds. The revolution will come when we reach back into antiquity, and when we restore to greatness the great queens of our histories. It'll come when we stop waiting, start shouting, and speaking out against this war-crazed, drug-addicted world, because that's what revolution's all about. We need an urban solution to stop all this confusion. Block by block, it's time for revolution. We need an urban solution to stop all this confusion. Block by block, it's time for revolution. My America. My America. My America, America. We send our soldiers overseas to fight a war and win honor so people can live carefree. America, America, have we lost our minds? Elected a president who can hardly tell time. America, America, please try not to overreact, blaming anyone who looks like they could be from Iraq. America, tell me what is this war really good for? Absolutely nothing. At first we thought it wasn't serious, we thought they were bluffing, we thought all this word talk and stuff would just blow over or something. It's unfair to the children to see their families suffer, but I must have been brought up in a world like this, full of confusion, crime, and violence that's like a life threatening pollution. I wish it was an illusion and deception, but then again, there's something that always brings me back to this corruption. The process, dirt that we call land, full of dead insects buried with our forefathers, the air thick with soot from the drowning economy. We gasp, dying for the truth. Tell us, Father Bush, do we have to get poor and be taxed at the same time? Why, Daddy Bush, is the pressure on our backs? Do we take responsibility for your lies? Do we praise you for your wrongs? Do we blame ourselves for the war? Can the death of soldiers be forgiven, Daddy Bush? Is it us, Daddy Bush? What about America? Why, America? My America. My America. My America. My America. Why America? You know, I work at a Chicago Public High School, Inglewood High School. It's almost 100% African American. It's in a low income neighborhood, so it is definitely a stomping grounds for the military to recruit kids. So kids are desperate for anything that might help them along in life. You see that many of them are attracted to this idea of discipline and college money. Uh, you know, when I worked at Manly, kids were being promised Gucci at warehouse prices in Italy, all kinds of travel opportunities. You can hear the call as the drums pound out our next generation of martyrs, and you can see them all pulling guns out. To They're preying on their desire to have something that will help them through life. Um, so they're feeding them this information that is blatantly dishonest. They're not telling them about the risks involved, about the psychological trauma, about, you know, the sort of ethical issues about going to war in the first place. None of these questions are breached when this conversation happens. Um, it's purely sort of this, let's get you the money, you know, uh, let's get you the nice clothes, let's get you the great job. You don't have the government sending in unionized employers 
giving these kids other options besides the military. You don't have, you know, veterans coming in talking about what's the downside of getting involved in this. They're selling the kids short and a lot of information and they're exploiting the desperate sort of economic conditions that they're faced with. Support our troops, be honest about the benefits We might not have their back when they get the medic checks Military docs, talk stress disorder The foreign born to parents with uranium exposure Support our troops, help them finish school first Then let them decide what being a tool is worth We need educated youth instead of mindless drones If we're gonna win the wars, we have to fight at home The Arab is fascist, gotta fight terror You're watching Chicago oh, Pay no attention to that man hiding behind the flag. <laughs> or maybe we should pay more attention.